and jump attack. Kaya! Ooh, almost a thousand. A thousand damage! Kaya! Hello, everyone! It's your survival buddy, Jaggernaut, here, hanging out today in a dinosaur wasteland playing on the Ragnarok map on the Monkey Patron server. Hanging out today, trying to survive, and we've been doing a pretty good job of it. The past couple episodes, we have done an awesome job of surviving and getting a lot done. Now, if you like the video today, please don't forget to hit that like button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I have a, a confession to make. I'm a little addicted to this game, once again. Um, I have a problem. <laughs> Things are a little bit different around here. Just a little bit. Uh, including my clothes. I have, I put the invisibility, the birthday suit, quote unquote, on my shirt skin. And this guy is jacked. I, he's got veins popping out of his abs. Like, holy cow, man. Lay off the powders. Good gracious. Anyways. Um, yeah, I spent some time... And I made this wall. <laughs> it's not done yet. I've got a bunch of paints crafting up um, because I want to paint it. And i got to take care of that hole over there. But, uh, oh, yeah, it's a thing. And we'll talk about all of these kids in a second. It's a big thing. And over here, wait, hold on. I made something. I made something special. Okay, my mic is working. Just had to make sure. You never know. This new recording software does not tell me as well as my old one did whether or not it was working. So I have to check sometimes. Okay. And over here at the tail end of our Florida-shaped... Uh, I was told it looks like Florida. No, no. Oh, gosh. Does it look like Florida? Yeah, yes. The answer is yes. It looks like Florida. <laughs> uh, let's put these in here. And mount up! Oh, Dean, you better be nice to me, Dean. I can't zoom in, but be nice to me. We can now defend our base from invaders. Look, I made a nice tower. We'll go up there and see that next. The sky, I don't know how I feel about the sky. The sky is definitely borked. If anyone knows how to fix it, like, I can't... Ooh, I can't see, like, anything. You can't see drops. If I'm trying to place a building item up in the air... Uh, it doesn't work because the sky is too bright. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can... doesn't make much sense to have a, a watchtower you can't get up to, but I'm working on that. I will get to it. Let's come in here. I'm up this ladder that took me about an hour to figure out how to place it because it was not working. And then we come out here. Behold! Look at this area. We're coming to third person. We can see a lot more. We can get out our spyglass and say, A vast, mateys! What is over here? You can't... Everything is outside our spawn range. <laughs> so... Oh! That guy just came into spawn range. We can't really see anything. What's you doing over there, big guy? Are you stuck? Poor guy. And we can see out to sea. We can see what we can see out to sea? Nothing, really. Yeah, this is just terrible. Like, why would you ever program something to look like this? <laughs> it's so bad. Anyways, what if we go, um, like this? Here we go. Oh, man. How, how far can we go? Wow. <laughs> we can go so far. What the crap? This grappling hook is amazing. Not only can I use it over and over again... Okay, that's the limit. Wow! Wow! <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on. Moving on. Let's talk about our horse breeding. We're doing a real good job. We started with... I think this guy. Equus 164 and Equus 245. And we are up to a 172 and a 150. Maybe, no, I think the 150... Yeah, the 150 has not been raised. Have you been raised? Yeah, yep, yep, the 164. And then we made, we made uh, just bred these two, a 187 female and a 193 male, which I'm actually going to use to introduce some new stuff. Um, 
this guy's going to be around as a backup. And then I have a 137 female, 192, 148, 162, 184, and 174. These are all males. I don't need any more stallions or any more studs. Okay? Sorry, boys. You ain't getting none. You ain't getting no action over here. Unless we... No, not, never mind. They're not getting anything. Um, but I don't... You can't kill him, actually. It's not because I don't want to. I don't want to, but <laughs> I tried to kill this one. I'm sorry. Uh, you're just so low level and a female, and I don't, I don't want you. Don't take it personally. You just aren't good enough. Oh, it's so sad. So I unclaimed it and tried to kill it, but it doesn't work. I was thinking maybe they give pelt, and I could use its pelt or something like that. So. Anyways. I had to expand my crafting area, my workshop, because it was just getting too crowded because we have too many. We have the smithy, the mason table, the villager table, the carpentry table, the kibble table, the upgrade station, and I haven't even picked up these things yet. I sh probably should move those. I don't know how much more we're going to actually do with this one. Yeah. I, try I, I was going to do just the palisade walls all the way around, but it looked goofy, if you can remember. Anyways, so that's the wall. I I got a little carried away. The breeding is going well, but it we it leaves us with a problem. We have a little bit of a problem with our storage. I guess if we just like moved everybody off to the side, we could leave it for a little while longer. But I mean, I I've never really made cool buildings. Like I've never done anything like that or like this cool. You may not think it's very cool, but I do. I think it's cool. So I want to keep doing that. But I just don't have the space up here for dino storage. You know, like for all of these horses, it's going to take a lot of storage. I thought what we might do is utilize the beach area down below. And um, I'll show you that in just a second once I have all of these guys. No, just kidding. I'll just move this one. All right, you guys stay there. I'm done. I'm done. So if we take this guy, let's go down to the beach area, kind of where I was thinking of doing the rest of my building. Oh, you know what we haven't done? Um, did we have, could, have we gotten any mail? No? Monkey man? You didn't respond to my mail? Maybe he doesn't have a mailbox anymore. I don't know. Did you get that mail, monkey man? Tell me. I need to know. Down here, this has kind of been, <laughs> you can see my little transfer gun station. So I transfer from there to there to there to there to there, uh, to there to there to inside. It's, it works real good. It works way better than trying to run those slow poke do dickeri back up the uh the way so i was thinking we have two full we, we need dinosaurs storage down here i love this area down here it's really flat um i don't want to build a whole lot down here because this is where i get most of my um oh you know what i forgot we were gonna do because this is where i get most of my resources so i don't really want to build down here a whole lot because then i'll not have any resources Oh, please stop. Thank you. I'm so glad you can interrupt that with poop. All right, let's see how much are you gathering right now. 280, almost 300. That's excellent. So this is where we get our stuff, right? This is how I've been. That's how I got all the resources to uh, build the big old wall. So I'm ready to build some more buildings, and that's what I want to do today, even though we're already 10 minutes into it. So I think, but we gotta, there's something we gotta figure out. So I'm gonna go gather up a bunch of resources here really quick, build a bunch of building materials, like foundations and walls and stuff. And you ready? Oh, hey guys, they're following me. <laughs> so we run back over here, jump off, take the gun, source set, and tr out of range. Dang it. Come here, don't dickerous. And transfer complete. All right. And now he can gather some more. So don't go, oh, before we go, I do need a haircut, so I thought I'd do that with you guys, because there's actually new stuff, default, default, oh, look at those abs, oh, oh, mercy sakes, man alive, totally jealous, wait, I have to learn them? Whoa, holy cow, <laughs> all right, well, that's the only one we could do, so I guess we're going to do braids, what if we lower the, uh, we lower the, just to like that. What does that look like? What do you think? Tail? No tail. Also makes the braids super thick. 
I don't really like that much tail. All right, no tail. Cool. And then the facial hair, curly. Ew. Wait a minute. Can't I just trim his eyebrows? I just want to trim his freaking eyebrows. Okay, we're going to do for now. Ah. ah. I don't know. Except. But I think that removes everything, right? Just my hair until my hair grows back in the desired style. Okay, okay. All right, let me gather some stuff up, and I'll be right back. Okay. We have committed mass resources side. <laughs> And I've gotten started. Did you know these are sand piles? Can I get rid of the sand pile? Does it ever go away? It does go away. Cool, we got some sand. Not that we really need it. But we have resources. And I have crafted up 62, 50, 23, and I've got a bunch more things cooking. But let me show you. One of the problems we have run into... Hey, buddy. Because I wanted to build it... Over here, because it's clear out of the way, it really wouldn't affect any resources. It wouldn't really get attacked by anything. But, uh, please, please. Ha! <laughs> ha! You guys are amazing. You, It's because I'm recording right now. See, look, that's what happens. Nothing. But over here! Yes. Okay, something, it must be the drop. No. Okay. Why can you place here? Oh. Oh. But not there. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. There is zero rhyme or reason in my mind as to why some of these will not place. Hey, do you remember this? This is where we first came. This is where we first came. This is our very first box and bag before we uh um dealt with some matters. Hey, big guy, I need you to move. So... <laughs> it's almost 600 damage with this sword. It is amazing. All right, so. No. I don't know. This is not going to work for me. I don't know. Because I, I need a pretty big stable, right? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Why did you do that? Where did you just place? Did I pick it up? Okay. Okay, cool. Do what you want, I guess. All right, that's all we have. Okay, that's going to work. I think that's going to be just fine. We're going to make a nice little barn for these guys, and then um, we're going to be able to house them out of the way, and hopefully, because there's a bunch of alphas in Craft This Pawn, and has the potential of making its way over here, and I don't want them to kill my stuff. Okay? So we need to build a nice workplace storage location thing for our work dinos as long as it continues to work and i don't know why sometimes it allows me to place on top of the water and then sometimes it puts one underneath can we not waste perfect okay this is going to be great except for this spot right uh can i do a ceiling right there mayhap what we also need to consider is putting our horses down here, our extra horses. I, I'm not quite sure exactly what I even want to do with them. Like, why do I need a horse? Why, other than the fact that the only way to get rid of them would be to drop them in with the sharks, which sounds kind of barbaric. Come on, is it this guy right here? No. Which means, no, nope, that's the wrong one. We need you. We gotta pick up all of these guys and we'll start back here. We'll put another layer down. It's gonna be twice as much for just one stinking corner that wouldn't allow me to place. Okay. Now, 
This is a nice box. I don't think that that's going to hold all of our dinosaurs. What if we make something... Nope, that's too close. What if we make something like... Um, some kind of interesting building here that has a corner over here? Huh? Or maybe... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think we'll make it kind of interesting. But I'm so glad I can actually place it over there! I can't tell you how glad I am for that. But we're almost out of foundations already, and I made 60 of them. So this is going to be a pretty big build. Maybe I... No, I can't make it out of wood, because what if somebody comes over here and tries to kill me? So... We'll make a... Something... Like this. It's because I have to place underneath here to make sure that it fits. No, 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 no. Okay, all right, we're not pushing our luck anymore. This is where we'll put all of our stuff. This is where the entrance will be, and then all the dinosaur... No, we'll put a dinosaur entrance right here so the dinosaurs can come in and out. Put all the dino storage out here on the outside. Maybe we'll make a nice loft. And uh, so we'll need some ramps here, a ramp here. We'll put a doorway right here because I made it three wide because I'm amazing. And let's see, do we have... Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe we'll put the doorway over here so it's more symmetrical. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at it. Okay, you know what? I got some building to do with all my resources. When we come back, I'll have a nice, stable uh, barn type deal to house our dinosaurs, okay? So don't go anywhere. We interrupt this regularly scheduled building break to bring you something cool that's happened. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where did he go? Hello? Wait. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Uh, there was a level... Oh, here. hey, buddy. Okay, all right, we're coming down here. All right, everybody's on passive, right? Everybody's okay. Come here, big guy. Uh, can I tank this? I don't know if I can tank this. Can somebody else tank this for me, please? Thanks. Sorry. Oh, you guys grew up already, so I guess it's no. I guess I won't be taming you anymore, uh, or raising you, or imprinting, or whatever it's called. We're just gonna try and get this 130 RG that just wandered into our base. Uh, that's great. Big guy, you just keep wailing on all my friends. Spread out the damage equally. Oh, Carno, get out of my way. Ah, oh, he's going to kill me. Don't kill me. Kill my stuff. Try and kill my stuff. Wait, don't kill my stuff. I think he's breaking my box right there. Stop breaking my box. Oh, why are those not hitting? That one hit. You getting sleepy? Don't you fly away. No. Crap, he's gonna fall in the water. Quick, chase. Where are you going? Don't go over there. Don't fall in the water. No, don't fall in the water. Turn! Uh. Please don't. Oh, yes, okay, alright. <laughs> Wait, don't kill him! Oh, do you have. Nope, you don't have any. Let's go grab some raw mutton. <laughs> Actually, what is RG Kibble? I mean, we have the kibble table for peak's sake. Might as well. Um, RG kibble is... Stego kibble. That's what it is. I totally made that. I, I learned. I remembered it on my own. I did not go look. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, no. Uh, one second. 75. What the crap? Why are you not letting me do 175? Thank you. Pull. And then make five stego. Stego. I don't even remember if I'm recording right now. I'm recording. <laughs> Alright, five stego kibble. My recording software has this annoying habit that when I tab out, it moves uh, monitors from the right end monitor to the center monitor. And it's very obnoxious. But we do what we have to, right? So let's go ahead. Oh, hey, where are all these RGs coming from? Please don't be higher level. Good, you're only level 100. Let's see if we can kill you with a sword. Ha-ha! 
Gaia! I don't know if this is going to be possible. Where'd he go? Yeah, all right, put the sword away. We got to deal with this guy. I'm going to tame up that RG and finish building. This is what I got so far. I think it actually looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And we're back with a completed barn. Does it look like a barn? I think it looks more like a warehouse. But I guess <laughs> I guess a warehouse is just fine for us. Our RG gate got up. Uh, 194 Argentivus. Already has six levels. Give me those kibbles. Oh, sorry, sorry. Whoa, whoa. Dodo, why are you freaking out? Dodo, you need to take, take a chill. Take a chill. Take a chill. Okay, I guess you'll survive. If I miss twice, that means you get to survive. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Let's go like this. There we go. It looks pretty good. I wish the sky wasn't completely black. But I guess I like the black sky better than the blinding white sky. Alright. We've got two entrances. Whoops. One on this side, one on this side. And we've got this is our gonna be our workroom. So actually, you know what? What we could do? Uh uh six. Let's go ahead and transfer everything here to here. Does that work? Sure did. Alright, pick up the station. And we will be the first. It will be the first thing that we put in here. Like, uh, let's actually put it right here in the corner. There, so it doesn't clip. Perfect. I actually ended up moving the entire building over one. <laughs> I built this front part and then started to build the other part. And remember how... Um, we couldn't build one more over here. It was just the one corner. Well, I couldn't put um, anything on the sides of it either. It was rather obnoxious. So I had to pick up the entire building, tear all of this down, and... Is that me walking? Yes. And move it over one stone. But I think it turned out pretty great. About that hatch in there, it's not going to be big enough for a Quetzal, I don't think. So I might end up uh, moving it. Don't. If you have OCD, don't pay attention to this next part. It's not big. It's it's only two wide instead of three wide, like our uh, front is. So it's off center. It drives me nuts. So I'll probably end up removing it because the Griffin. If we had to get the Griffin inside, the Griffin can actually go in the doors. But there's really not going to be a whole lot of room after we move all of the dinosaurs inside, like for real. So. <laughs> I don't know exactly what we're going to do with it, but I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. <gasps> is that a space? No. Everything is nice and tight. I spent a long time making sure everything was on the uh, same side, inside or outside. And I think it turned out pretty good. I like these windows. These are just two door frames on top of each other. I think those turned out pretty great. I can't jump to them, so... But it just gives us a nice view of the ocean. Maybe someday I'll make like a, a dock on the back side of here with some pillars so that I could pull my boat around and um, and put that over there. So, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Let's go ahead and put a couple of these dinosaurs inside. Turn this back on. Who are you all following? You're all following Fwa? Okay. Fwa, can you tell everyone to stop following? Thank you. Can you land, homie? You're going up there with me. All right, uh, who's going to be first? Beaver? Come here, Beaver. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Beaver, come on on here. I don't know how we're going to separate it. I don't know how we're going to organize. But you come on in here. And put you right in the doorway like so. And then beep, 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 beep. Oh, poop. Got poops. And put you right here. And that's going to be your spot. Park the beaver right there. Probably get some, um, some things to separate them. Uh, Fua, can I have your saddle, please? I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Honestly, I don't know. Because I don't need you anymore. This guy's way better than Fua, but I can't kill you, and I feel so bad just leaving you for, for anyone to come and chomp on. That makes me feel so bad. So we'll we'll have to put him out to pasture with all those horses we have <laughs> that we're not gonna get rid of. All right, you dodicarous. 
to kind of try and center you. Back it on up. Oh, why? What is it with people pooping in here? Good gracious! Would you cut it out? All right, back it on up. So your tail is just hanging out. There we go, just like that. All righty, daddy. Here we go. Now we're rolling. We got two of them in there. And Anki, you're gonna take forever. Yeah, you're real slow, big guy. You're super slow. I'm super excited to have this. I'm so glad that we finally figured out somewhere that it would sit because I really like it. I like it over here, out of the way. I feel like it's going to be really safe since most of it is in... Um, actually, we're going to put you right here between the two. Most of it's in the water. So I feel like nothing's really going to ever come after it. We need to move you over just a tad there, big guy. And you're going to be off center by the time you finally back all the way up. But I don't think it's going to matter. It won't matter none for right now. And there we go. Perfect. Enough for who it's for. Good enough for government work. Okay. And then finally, the last guy we need to get is our mantis. And I got to show you something about the mantis. Oh, man. So we have an apprentice obsidian sword. I'm pretty sure that's just uh, one tier up. Apprentice is one, a little bit better than Ramshackle. No. Ramshackle is the second. So it's tier three out of like six. But shabam! Oh, man. We're doing so much damage with this guy. It's not even funny. Like, we could... Is there a Bronto around here? There's one up there. Should we go take on this Bronto? What's this? Oh, baby. We're going to take on this Bronto here real quick. And then we'll put him away. we got to give him some action, because he's got to have food. I guess the other guys need berries. How do I even get up there? Maybe not. We'll take on all these trikes. Kaya! 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 And jump attack! Kaya! Ooh! Almost a thousand! A thousand damage! Kaya! <laughs> this guy's pretty great. I hate you, birds. You and the Pegos? Thank goodness there haven't been a bunch of Pegos around here. If there have been Pegos around here, I would have exterminated them all. Alright, nope, don't get distracted by any more baddies. Okay, so let's put the mantis in there. Let's see, mantis for flint, no, mantis for thatch and fiber. Um, Anki for flint and metal. Beaver for wood and berries. And the dodic, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if we, oh wait, that means I should be able to go like this, right? Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh-oh, am I stuck? Okay. All right, Thatch. Oh, give me my sword back, homie. Give me that sword back. That No, give me my sword. Thanks. We have Thatch and fiber, wood and berries, metal and flint and stone. This barn seems a little overkill for those guys. That's all I have? Uh, hmm, interesting. Maybe we'll spread them out just a little bit more. Give them two spaces. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's too many. Is it nine spaces wide? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and call that a day. We moved everybody in. If these guys die, I guess I don't really care all that much. Poor fu. Poor fu. I'm sorry, big guy. And uh, that's it. We'll take the RG up to our base with us. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's going to be really awesome to have those guys in there. And my hair grew back. I don't know how I feel about it. It looks really weird, like a baseball. <laughs> uh, wait, I thought I had signed one of those, put your hat back on. <laughs> Anyways, thanks, you guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and come back next time for some more ARC action. Well, next time, we'll try and figure out what we're going to do with the horses. And, I don't know, whatever you want to do, put it in the comments down below. You guys are awesome. You guys keep surviving.